for me, this is an issue that goes to the very heart of our democracy, Honorable Deputy President. And we recently saw the IFP witness how ANC officials and SASO officials, just the day before a by-election, brought in trucks of food parcels, and we've got the photos here. And this is not an isolated incident. In fact, now with every by-election, you will find the same situation. And I think then one can't advance the argument to say that those food parcels are only distributed on a needs basis, because quite frankly, there's an election element or a campaigning element to those distribution. And my question, therefore, to you, Honourable Deputy President, is do you think that the measures that you've just outlined will actually go far enough to ensure that you put an end to this practice which has become entrenched and do you believe that a failure to do so will actually render the upcoming local government elections not free nor fair? The elections must be run on a free and fair basis and that there should be total tolerance and overall as a government we believe that state resources should not be used for party political interests. And that we should not be advancing party political interests through state resources because state resources are there for all South Africans, for all the people who live in our country. And therefore, I do not believe that the coming local government elections will be jeopardized in any way whatsoever. I have full faith in our adherence to our democratic values, our democratic principles, all of us as political parties in South Africa. Thank you very much.